What's up, everybody? We are back. John Della Rose here, DellaRose.com. Some indie comics reviews. I've got the first three issues of a comic called Judas Breed. And this is by Kenneth Brown, the writer, and Ryan Best, the illustrator, on here. It starts out as a science fiction story. We've got some people in space right here, as you can see. Um, and it's, it's one of those like thriller types where they're on some sort of ship asteroid thing and they don't know what's out there and they're like, huh, what's going on here? And when they get back, trouble ensues. So very much like, it feels like alien a lot. Like, you know, there's, uh, there's these basically creatures that, um, seem like symbiotes taking over the body like sort of, sort of set up and it's pretty fun so dialogue's really good all the way around um i'd say the art you know i mean it's it's on the uh it's on the indie side for sure and but that's okay it works out pretty well for the storyline so you get here's these little slug creatures and then uh and then that kind of ends the first issue so good setup in the first issue uh, enough that I kept reading, and I got, you know, three books, so glad about that. And then uh, this one ends up in a knockdown, drag-out fight with these, like, uh, creepy alien things in the second one. So pretty cool. Um, now, the third one takes a radically different change, and so uh, it it, it, it kind of, it's set on Earth, and we've got uh, this weird setup where... There's like this lab or something where people are being controlled. And uh, yeah, very, you can see it's very alien predator sort of stuff. And it kind of it kind of reboots the story a little bit. So a lot of setup for one and two to kind of kind of change the whole dynamic of what's going on. And it feels a little more present time uh, with all the backgrounds and all that than it did like on the spaceships and all that. Very different vibe. Uh, we get from this one. And basically these kids uh, discover this lab or whatever where they're breeding these things basically to control super soldiers is what it ends up being. So, yeah, it uh, it ends. And I don't know how long it's going or kind of where the story's going with it. But for three issues, I mean, on, on the indie level, this is uh, some pretty solid outings. Um, I, I very much enjoy it. So... First, first couple books feel like regular comic books. The second one is uh, like kind of graphic novel-ish, but I don't think it's much longer. Uh, I just think it's, it's a different binding than the first ones, but it doesn't matter. Um, enjoyable stuff. If you like sci-fi uh, with a little bit of horror, this is kind of going to be the book for you and definitely uh, fun and worth reading. All right, hit that like and subscribe button, everybody. We will be back soon with some more news and reviews. See ya.